have you ever walked into a room and suddenly forgotten why you are there or perhaps you can't remember the name of someone you just met it's moment like this that makes us think why my memory is so bad but what if i told you that these moments of forgetfulness are not sign of a bad memory but rather a fascinating feature that our brain must use just think about it imagine if we remember every single detail of our lives every meal we have eaten every conversation we have had our brain would be overwhelmed with information this is precisely why our brain uses a mechanism called active forgetting when you do things absent mindedly such as talking on phone while putting your keys down you are less likely to form a strong memory of where you put them because your attention is divided and your brain doesn't prioritize remembering it and store it as a low priority memory just to delete it later In fact scientists have found that brain standard rule is not to remember but to forget irrelevant information and keep focus on what's important. This entire process is very similar to deleting old photos or messages from your phone to make space for new ones. Okay so now we understand why we forget simple things. But why do we forget important things like taking medicines on time or why do some memories looks faded? The reason we forget to do important things is because not all information is stored equally in our memory. According to the Atkinson and Schifrin model of memory, our sensory memory notices and collects everything around us. For instance, as you are watching this video or hearing birds chirping near you, initially all sensory memories become part of short-term memory. As short-term memory has a limited capacity, they stay in your brain for only 18 seconds. So if you want to remember important things or make it a long-term memory, you will have to repeat it to yourself or write it down a few times. This process is called memory consolidation. What this process basically does is strengthen the neural pathways associated with recent memories when we revisit them. This makes that memory a high priority and you're going to more likely to remember it. Similarly, the reason we see faded memories is because the strength of our memories depends on how often and how recently the information has been accessed. If we don't access a memory for a long period of time, it can become harder to retrieve. This is why we might forget important information from years ago, like things we learn in school or college. To sum up, forgetting isn't a flaw, but a feature of our memory system, which prioritizes situation based on our attention and demands.